Hello, I'm Songbird. Welcome to my channel. Today's video was a special request from Snow Griffin who asked me to do a video showing how snaps work on Eco's Highland Home homestead wagons and how to mount the doors on them. I'm happy to help. Let's get right into it. To make the wagon, you need to go into the crafting table here and uh, we have S plus on our server so I can just pull the, the items that I need to craft in here and you see that it says exactly which types of dinos can pull each type of wagon so make sure that you have a critter to pull it I've got the cow and so I'm gonna make the large Highland wagon here just pull everything in and craft it if you don't have S plus you'll just need to carry things and put them in there manually and then see it gives me one that I can put in your inventory. Now don't make the mistake that I did the first time where I accidentally popped it out instead of putting it in my inventory and it ended up on my roof. Yeah, not a good idea. They take up a lot of space. So me and my ever so creatively named cow Moo Moo will come out into the nice wide open area and pop out the wagon. See, uh, let's see you eat place. There we go. Boom. And this isn't actually one of the ones with the door on it. This is not the right one. Just a moment while I craft another one. All right. Now see this. This gave me the wagon and two snaps and the door. So let's transfer all of those to my inventory which over encumbers me naturally and let's bring it out here into the open where we can set it up place the wagon there it is this is a very nice big homey wagon and let's hitch it to the stego just because I'm curious as to whether the stego needs a saddle or not Let's give you a name. Uh, um, you shall be Stella, at least for now. I always name my first Stego Stella. And on our server, each of us put our own tags on our dinos as well, so we know who they belong to. All right, can we hit you? Looks like we can. I can I ride? Nice. So okay, I don't need the saddle for the dino. I think you can use the saddle and it will give the dino some extra armor, which is a good thing, but you don't need it. Good to know. Nice. And I ride way up there on the wagon seat. Okay, now back here you will see that it does not come with a door but you have these door snaps and you always start with the lower numbered ones so depending on the type of wagon the size and the door that it that it goes with it'll give you different snaps this one needs snap five and six so see there's a little thing sticking out from the side of the door frame so you align this with that as best you can it doesn't have to be perfect but as close as you can do to to with with that thing snap that on there and then take the next one and okay there you're supposed to snap this one to here and you may not be able to see it I'm not seeing it right now but I'm pretty sure that it is actually snapped there did that work did that go where it was supposed to? I think it did. Let's try the door and see. There, see? Now we can put the door on. And just for um, example's sake, yep, there, there's snap five. Oh, and it broke snap six, apparently. I'll have to craft another one. But you see, without putting those snaps on, the door doesn't know where to where to go see 
So you have to put those there in order to snap the door in place. And she put those little blocks next to the door to show you where they need to go. So once, once you get the hang of it, it's a very simple system. And if you need to craft a replacement snap, you can do that right here in the table. Um, where are they again? I think under wagons door snaps. There they are. Yes. So that was snap six we needed. It's super cheap. Just one fiber. And there we go. We've got a replacement snap. And I'll show you again how that's done. These wagons are super cool. But just FYI, as I learned the hard way here on Fjorder, um, on Fjorder you can teleport between realms, kind of like you can on uh, Genesis 1 with the biome teleportation. Don't try to teleport with a wagon, though. It's not a good idea. I had all kinds of bad glitchy things happen and ended up losing the wagon, so don't do that. Uh, you can teleport with a creature. You can teleport with... Um, your cow or your stego or whatever, but leave the wagon behind. Okay, so once again, start with snap five. Line it up with this block here. And I've experimented with it a bit before, and even if it's not totally straight, it still works. But I'm going to try to get it straight. There we go. And snap six. There we go, and then the door. There. Very nice. And I don't have a whole lot of stuff in my inventory, but uh, can I put these? I don't think I can put the wall lanterns in here. But you can do put the placeable lanterns in there. These are the lanterns from the um, ARRRRP decor mod, which is um, items from Atlas. But you can see you can place things in the wagon. You can place a bed in here, containers for storage, crafting stations. It's very compact, but you can definitely have a nice little mobile base in here. And whether or not the wagon if the weight registers on the dyno that's pulling it or whether you get a a buff to your damage reduction when you're inside the wagon, all kinds of things like that. Those are configurable via INI for people setting up their servers. I decided just for just for fun on our server not to make the weight of the items in the wagon count. So for now at least we can have lovely mobile bases and not have to worry about over encumbering the dinos pulling them. But if that seems too OP for you, you can easily change that via the INI that's detailed in Eco's wonderful workshop page about this. There's a link in there with all the INI settings. So anyway, that's how it works. Thanks so much for watching.